nature. Aikido is like with calm is maintained. Aikido is an energy we call ki, just like a blooming flower or growing glasses. Also, Aikido is movement, is slowly and smoothly like a stream of the water. One with the nature is maintained, Aikido is necessary. referred to as O-sensei, which means great teacher, led the way in development of a virtually new martial art. Many others are on the way to master the art of Aikido, as did Master Ueshiba. Shihan Toyota, who has had the privilege of studying under O-sensei, is also leading the way in developing others to master this fine art. O-sensei created Aikido simply by seeing the potential we can develop both mentally and physically. Aikido can be considered as the way of energy. He saw the availability of the immense energy of the universe and realized that he was not interfering with it. In watching movement without conflict, he could understand the vulnerability of the human body in motion. A strength that is ever new is the power that leads and controls an attack with timing and flexibility. Because Aikido was practiced with a partner, we learn from each other, creating a healthy spirit with union of body, mind, and heart. You have just observed Osensei's sign calligraphy of Aikido, a meditation pose, and now an example of his technique during his latter years, a perfect example of all he stood for and meant to convey.
just seen the traditional breathing chant, Hojo. Concentration on one's breathing is very important in the study of martial arts. Shihan Toyota is leading the group with abdominal breathing exercises. We must learn to breathe from Hara, or the center of our bodies. When we exhale, our breath goes out to the outermost bounds of the world. When we inhale, our breath comes to the innermost bounds of existence. The mind and body are unified as we are unified with all creation. hard throwing techniques it is necessary to physically warm up any of your favorite warm-up exercises will do even a good brisk walk we emphasize stretching the legs because of the excess of leg movement in the practice of Aikido our legs must be flexible stretching out our limbs is essential for a healthy performance just as a tree remains strong in a violent windstorm because of all the stretching in a calm breeze, we too can withstand the vigorous workouts that Aikido offers. Five, nine, two, three, four, five, nine, two, three, four, five, nine, two, three, four, five. Beza. Aikido technique is practiced with a partner and involves many wrist pins. The student's wrist must be strong and flexible. The stretching exercises help one to withstand these pins. You can increase the strength of your wrist 100% by stretching in the manner shown on video. These energy flowing techniques are called Ikkyo Undo, Kotegashi Undo, Sankyo Undo, and Nikyo Undo. We do not want to cause injury to ourselves or our partner. So we take time not only at the beginning of class, but throughout the day to stretch our wrists. There is definite relationship between the exercises and technique. Technique is what we warm up for. You will see demonstrated a few examples of takedowns and pins. When performed correctly, our attacker or partner has no means of resistance. These pins are painful for students who have practiced for 10 years. Imagine what they are like for someone who has never experienced them. Even if you don't need to touch the top, 
relationship to throwing our partner in these exercises. Notice the hip movement in the exercise. The hips are the focal point in moving and unloading and maintaining posture in good TI. one attacker. We must learn to deal with an attack from the opposite end or from various angles. These exercises help us to prepare for multiple attacks. Thank you. 
we learn to move in and around our partner to position ourselves for the takedown. Our exercise relates to this movement. Shihan Toyota is demonstrating how this is done. We cannot emphasize enough the importance of timing in this movement. We must make our move at precisely the right time or our partner will set up defenses if he can detect our strategy. Calm, well-balanced movement and precise timing are essential in the study of martial arts. greatest fear is the fear of falling. It is an unusual sensation to be thrown. When a fall is taken well, it is an art all its own. One could never understand the essence of Aikido if we couldn't feel the effect of a throw from our partner. We could not begin to apprehend the power is necessary. A power as subtle as the earth turning on its axis. Yeah. 
twisting and going. Third thing. Now the hip, hip. Third thing, that's the hip. Maybe sometimes hip part of this hand too, like this. What I love, both, one hand, both hands. And this hip, that stand your pose, right? Knee is not more stuck behind. And this center, moving forward as much as you can. Don't roll. More, more, more. Okay? No, no, don't go. <laughs> right. More. Right, okay. This is too much. Right? So that's why I have to come back again. Just only hips going forward and not because this one is going up. Your hips up. Okay, the same time your head is going inside, go ahead. There you go. Then roll. That's how it is.
repeat over with the stretching exercises. There are two kinds of stretching exercises that we require. One is for your leg, the other one is for your wrist. And these two exercises, your stretching exercise, will give you a lot, so many benefits during your classes. Because Aikido is just like any other martial art. We require so many body movements. And sometimes this body movement brings you severe problem, injury. But since you know how to stretch your wrist and your leg, we can avoid this uh, dangerous situations during your classes. So that one of the most important exercises is the stretching exercises that you do in the beginning of Aikido class. is how that movement when he was coming toward me is not Parisian like that so it has to be relaxed but not try to be dead relaxed to be harmony with his motion so go ahead and go ahead and try to maintain like this then do the balance then throw this is called inside the circle one more time to show okay The next one is the outside circle. When he was coming, like this. Okay, to back. Now we go same outside circle. Okay, comes up. Okay. So always being has to be slowing, gentle, for following flow naturally. When he was punched, this movement was not really existing. When he was punched, let it go and turn. And throw. Okay, also when he was punched, uh, chop. Not like this. It's going to be very difficult. So let him go down and turn. Those flowing very important with circular motion to maintain. So now,
actually intervening you know, after they touch the hair, something like this. You know, there is no meaning to the punch. So when you're punching, you punch specific like this. This time you have to hold your center. Sorry, name on Right. Okay. This punch, this time only works for uh, half. Okay, sorry. This way to go. Also, when you maintain, you have to posture is correct. When you do this way, this is not so good. Still straight forward. That is what you need. Okay? I, uh, job on the track, okay? The magic there. been watching Sheehan Toyota's black belts demonstrating their freestyle technique. It is freestyle that helps the student feel the flow of energy. There is no time to think, to react. If you must continue throwing 50 times or even 100 times, you will realize you are acting out of something other than your knowledge of technique.
is the heart of Aikido. It is in this fluidity that Aikido was born and each student's love for this art. Ah, ah, ah. 
before we sit here, experience the four minutes. Then you have to say, we'll watch the years and read his God and teach. I always done that. What this expression is, you have probably extended your body, which is reacted to down, this reaction comes back. So this is very alive, then very stable position you have. So, for instance, mm, don't sit down like this. Still be possible, you can do this, but if you want, then go ahead and be ready, which is more active. In a psychological, you are holding down your stomach already. Okay? Then you view what you can see bigger. It will reflect the movement you are, so more express, more alive. In other words, you can. It's for look at the face the issue like this, then it's not being expressed good. So that's what we do. Wow! Already it's an instant trial. Yeah? This is it. So you feel that you feel to yourself because you throw it. But we are I'm a third person. I'm watching what you're doing in between your partner. And I can feel that way very much. So this is because of our art. Yeah. You have to use many principles. I tell you one more time. More. So this time, first of all, your arm is being this way. This way, just as I want to mention, if your shoulders go this way, then you cannot resist. This stays this force all the time. Because if you're off the shoulder somehow, muscle or bone, then you can't, you didn't beat. So you have to turn this way. When you go forward, so your this angle turns towards the point, and they go this way. And uh, behind your arm, push over. This direction. So by the time you have to feel it, you have to push over a little bit. Your partner is glad to push over. And this arm extended as much as you could to read which way you want to throw the people. So this is the guiding. This is the power. This way. So after what happened in circle, so that's like your partner goes this direction to lead. Okay? Then back. So by the time 
You can do one knee down or both knee down. However, sometimes I let both knee down. So when you pick it, you throw it at you. So try it. and Hamni Hantachi Waza dealing with attacks while in the kneeling position is practiced in the study of Aikido. Students practice movement on their knees throughout the early years of their training. This movement is very difficult to get accustomed to and takes time to master. This practice is sometimes called samurai walk. Moving forward and backward is required. Also being able to spin around to avoid an attack or to attain a position to weaken the attacker's balance is necessary. 
side away, in the same thing. This to that, with that there. Sometimes very difficult. Yeah. When you stand in posture, you have to without step and turn it over. This time lift it up, step forward, and kick. Four, five, eight, one, step, two. Left knee down, right knee down, and relax. Hang go. tested on their ability to do technique from a standing or kneeling position throughout the ranks. An understanding of the coordination of mind and body is essential to perform technique in this manner. Wrong way. 
half a minute. We're going to keep doing it. Just grabbing things. You are coming. You are trying to grab. It's your idea, concepts, those ideas. Just he's grabbing. Right? Maybe yin and the yang. Maybe he's the frog. I'm mine. But somehow I'll get away. He's going to have you going to the paper yourself. When you are trying to work, he will work. You mean you don't want to work. You find the work. That's all. If you want to stay, just stay. No, thank you. <laughs> and that's it. No, this is the inside of the heart. Okay. So when you are coming, you get out. You want to get out of the house, just get out. Hand taking it, get off easy. First of all, one hand is going back. Him, both hands grab. This hand grab, then to support. Then he's not fall. Now he's going to take him to the door. One thing I have to mention, just finish. Finish the first thing for. So you are not going to grab to them. Huh? He's grabbing to you. If he doesn't want to grab me, forget it. We don't need this technique. First thing is very good. Next thing is when you are king, don't stay like this. Just keep moving. 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 Oh, in other words, you have to, your center, he, if, if I stop, he's going to grab easy to my center and do something next move. If you keep moving. Keep moving. So all your center is keep moving. Movement. Which is maybe a circle move. Either way, this way, whatever. Most people who are trying to do this way. So I haven't got to see that. The next thing, not only for circle movement. I'll try to always explain, not circle, vertical. When you are coming, just this way. When you are coming, this way. When you are coming this is to I'm keeping the circle three times. But if you keep same movement three times, then you will know what's happening. Yes. So this is how you need two times maybe turn. Turn. Then what do you have to do? This three combination if you do, you know, then they are always under control. Okay. All the other things we do, more like for you, uh, without touching throw, type of the existence. For the kind, this way to the way you are cunning, get away, then I'm not this, I'm going to disappear. Stuck out here. And this is a little bit of high technique. Or something like this, then you come. If you stay there, I'm gonna hit. Actually, yeah. maybe sometimes you put the best technique. Uh, sometimes, bam, that's it. It's going to be really mad because you don't see. Oh, if you find it already, it's a no. <laughs> so this technique sometimes you can use. But three techniques: circle, movement. Okay. Hand taking it, get off, someone who grab on you. Always moving center in the vertical, setting down in straight forward. Straight forward one, maybe three, four times. Okay? Now you got that? Okay? Principle you focus on. Ready? Higher right, side, any time at right.
Toyota normally doesn't emphasize self-defense for women or men. He does emphasize austere training and expects the same from everyone eager to learn what Aikido is all about. The natural reaction in self-defense comes about with sincere practice. Pat and Pam are practicing technique while being grabbed from the rear. The awareness that is developed with such practice prevents one from being taken by surprise and thus losing one's sense of balance and coordination. Rather, one much stronger can be led into a vulnerable position and easily thrown away.
you have two things you have to remind you. First, you have a posture. You have a certain posture you need to serve. Even in the talking, if you're moving this way, you have no concentration, no physical posture. So we set you a sense of your body, such a shape. Even talking, so you have to listen this way. Then you can do the knee. Okay? So if you go like this, rhythm. Right, then you can throw it. Next thing, you have a mental action, which is when you're holding center and mind body pulls in, you can feel the entire around your body. So you don't need to try to look behind the head, not need to look behind the head. So if you the center of your body, you can feel it entire body, you can keep calm, then you apply the technique. So, there's two things you have to remind yourself in practice. Right. positive means of self-defense is constant awareness. Whether you are being grabbed from behind or moved into a confined area, freedom first is essential, not a struggle to be free, but rather total attention to what is happening so one can feel the energy flowing before ever being grabbed. Freedom first and last must be maintained. <laughs> Observing what is expected of a woman for her black belt promotion test. After three years of study, generally, a student is ready for their black belt promotion. There are various attacks from the front and behind. The student should be prepared to do five arts during each of these attacks. Endurance also is critically observed. Proper breathing is necessary to continue until the end of the test. Yo 
Jenny is not wearing a hakama as did Donna during her test. Women have the choice of wearing or not wearing the hakama before the rank of shodan. Men, however, must wait until after their shodan promotion to wear this garment. This is a classical garb worn by the classical warrior, the samurai. Its purpose is to enhance graceful movement in appearance to the viewer and also deep within oneself. Hey, no, <laughs> I did it. of arts with a tanto wooden knife is an integral part in the study of Aikido. O sensei mastered the arts of spear fighting and fencing in his early martial art training. We continue to study with similar means. 
The difficulty in working with these tools lies in the fact that we tend to separate ourselves from them, thus causing an even greater separation between ourselves and our partner. Much time in the early stages of training is spent with Joe and Boken Kata. That is, striking and swinging with these weapons. This discipline is essential to building endurance and stamina. It steals the nerves and balances the emotions so as not to disturb the serenity of the mind, as well as unifying the students with objects that are simply an extension of their selves.
you. That's why you can get in your arm. You spin halfway. Then, oh, this is low. But I'm a shooting style. Take this one and you go right.
tip of the iceberg as to what Aikido is or what it can be. My name is Robert Mullen. I am the... <laughs> stepping back before the grab and stepping back once grabbed. The movement is slightly different for Nage in each case. When he has not grabbed, he can easily disturb the balance of Uke by taking up the slack. But when grabbed, Nage must stretch out Uke into a vulnerable position. Both Arimi and Tenkan take down were performed here. The first turning Uke in the direction Nage is moving. The other Nage goes outside the movement and brings Uke around for the takedown. Before we can seriously take control of Uke, we must break his balance and thus his concentration while still maintaining ours. Note the body movement of Shidan Toyota. His posture is straight his movement lateral. So go right. Now take up shot. There you can. So this side the same thing. When you step back outside, one. Then two. Okay? So when you're trying to do this, your shoulder, spread it out. Why? Take that. You're over the step back, it's in motion. We need a timing. Now you step a little bit behind us, inside. Last time we were out. So this time you go out of time. This is straight. Last time we were outside, this time we hit. So now one. And two. Nagi can be performed once control of Uke is accomplished. The bigger the movement, the better. This technique is considered an advanced technique. A certain amount of understanding leading motion of our partner must be clear for Nagi to perform this technique well. With more motion, there will be more possibility for Uke to lose control of balance. A sense of timing and distance must also be clearly understood. 
Notice how she hunt her to lift up Uke's whole arm. This cannot be done unless Nagi first takes up slack properly. Before the arm can be lifted, Uke must have lost balance. Try this amongst yourselves. Try resisting and see what happens. But if Uke's balance is broken and Nagi has taken up slack properly, then the arm can come up. Taking up slack is a consideration of physics. For instance, if a car is in a ditch and we want to pull it out with another vehicle and a chain, we must make sure the slack is out of the chain or we may do damage to either vehicle. When we start pulling, if slack is taken up, then the car should pull out without too much effort. Also, another consideration in martial arts, we want to prevent counterattack. If we do not lift up the arm in this movement, Uke can counter with his arms or legs. By lifting up, we have a leverage to push away. If he does use his feet, chances are Uke will have little power because of his posture. Also, Nagi can perform many combinations after lifting the arm, like hitting the ribs with his fist or kicking to the knee. In Aikido, we do the Kyokyanagi techniques only, but there are more possibilities for other martial art techniques. In performing the technique from a two-handed grab, the movement and taking control of the is done in the same manner as from the one-hand grab. The leading side of the attack, which is the side that the foot and arm are extended forward, is the side that is dealt with as in the one-hand grab. Shihan Toyota is demonstrating both the Rimi and Tenkan. Notice how Nagi comes outside Uke's movement to do Tenkan. Notice also how the arm is lifted up to accomplish this. And observe the pin, which is a healthy stretch for Uke. We are now going to observe how this is done from a grab from behind. We call these attacks and throws Ushiro Dori. Note carefully how the hand of Uke is taken. This grasp is common to most wrist techniques. A certain amount of control can be gained in this grasp. As Uke is turned, notice how his fingers are led in the direction of the movement. No conflict in movement is another consideration in Aikido. Note also the curling motion of Nagi's hand before he takes hold of Uke's wrist. Maintaining the pin throughout the technique is a key to success in these wrist techniques. These movements of Arimi and Tenkan can be practiced alone as well as with a partner. By using an imaginary partner, you can establish your footwork and how to bring Uke down and around. In stretching our partner's wrist, our intention is not to hurt, but to strengthen each other's wrist. And so we do not want to jam the pin, but rather stretch it as we would our own wrist. Than viewing technique. Considerable time is also spent practicing how to attack. Shihan Toyota emphasizes the necessity of proper attack in his teaching of Aikido, stressing how a weak attack can be countered rather easily, eliminating the need for technique or variations of technique. He feels a poorly executed attack is a waste of time and energy. Striking attacks have to be paid particular attention to in Aikido practice, both grabbing and striking attacks are performed because they are the most common form of attack or method to overpower or control another. The striking attacks have been derived from various sword attacks used by samurai warriors 1,000 years ago. For example, Munetsuki is the attack you are viewing now. Toward the end of this tape, you will see Shihan Toyota 
conducting lessons on how to do the same striking attack with the wooden sword called a boken. The end result is the same, with or without a sword. That is, breath, mind, and body are unified to execute the movement. By this we mean a sense of wholeness goes into every movement of our body. Whether we attack or perform technique, our whole body is involved. If one part of our body is not in its proper position, then our balance and concentration can easily be disturbed. 